Hello, my friends. Hello. Welcome to the Facebook Live Glitter Size Medusa Edition. I thought that today I would share my true nature and not start with sunglasses on. Kate, Kate Vile, old theater teacher, director. Very nice to see you. Yeah, so I'm coming to you in my natural form right now because I've been talking to a friend of mine, who a new friend through this pandemic who I've met, Nathan Schechter, who is talking about um, how we present ourselves and how we show up and what we feel comfortable with. And I am quite comfortable showing up in my true nature as the Medusa or as myself with no makeup and all that. And I have those, those videos are happening too. So if you need to exercise with somebody who's more normal than this, it's there and it's free and it's available to anybody. So I feel like right now is a time of tremendous tension and a lot of people are feeling crazy and we're living in a crazy world and we've been living in a crazy world for a very, very long time. But now the lack of Resilience in the world is hitting us all in a way. So I'm going to focus on madness for the beginning of this moment. A little bit of madness, collective madness. We're all in it together madness. I've posted all these things about trauma and about people feeling crazy and where the, the shrink is feeling like she's crazy. And it's like, yeah, because this world is not really made for these human animal bodies and the life giving forces that are out there, creative natures. So let's just start and honor that with some Tonus Maximus. Hey, Steve Minard, Steve Minard, Kate Vile, two of my high school people. Yes, love you. So here's some madness and delirium. I invite you to get up out of your chair and experience some madness with Tonus Maximus. Whoa. Whatever feels good, I'm arm circling. Stepping around the room. Madness. Who's crazier than the Medusa? And why is she crazy? Because she's pissed off, right? It's some crazy female energy that's very threatening. But if it's got all these snakes, it must have masculine energy too, right? What do we think? Shake it up. Those are bony hands and giant things. Tonus is losing his mind every night and every morning. And you know what? That's happening in the house. Oh, oh no. My little light isn't working. Oh, because it's not plugged in. That's why. It all makes sense. Get into your body. Why can't everything just be fine? Just be all right. Shake it up, shake it up. Get out your chair and shake your body up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Move it. Yes. Decolonize the spine. Give it some fluidity. Give it some life energy. Dance with me, please, won't you? Join in the madness because it's all crazy up there. Nothing we can do about it except for be in our bodies. Running down the hallway screaming. Breaking through to new dimensions. Finding some resilience, some bounce, some fluidity, fluency, coherence, all those wonderful things that our bodies need. Madness and delirium. Ooh, I love your madness. Yes, I do. So bring it on. Circles with the arms. Look at that, fluid motion, fluid motion and fluid motion. Dance 
sing, inviting yourself to participate in vibrant living. What does that mean? Well, you can put on a Medusa hat and shake your head around. That's one thing. Yeah. Oh, that's the end of that song. So I wanted to share that because I feel like that's such a theme for everybody right now. Everyone's like, am I the only one that's crazy? No, we're all that. We're all crazy. Um, yeah. And we are going further and further into crazy. Gregory, are you impressed by this makeup? Oh, oh no, pause. So I think we're, we're doing this first Star Model B Memoirs of a Fishman album. We're doing the whole album. And so it's got some more kind of punk rock stuff, some kind of glam rock stuff, and some cabaret stuff. A little bit of everything. Julio, Julio, Julio. I think it's Julio. But man, I'm enjoying your dance videos. Thank you so much for putting that stuff out there. Andrea Parkinson, same thing. Gregory Albain, you know, the pancakes, the apple pancakes. You made me jealous yesterday. Um, yeah. So I'm going to wave to you all. I'm going to do it with this hand here. And then I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, it only sometimes works. Sometimes my fingers are human. And sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are not recognized. This was probably about a 10-minute makeup session. And, and then I actually got more when I came downstairs because I found this other color and I started to add it. Um, yeah. But I have a video with Ofra Wolf of putting the makeup on and how fast we did it. It was like eight minutes, I think. So you could see that. Um, let's go on. And we're going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I have one simple request and that is the name of the song. It's high energy. You might not be ready for this yet. Bouncing around, get the tissues hydrated by moving and breathing. And I am moving my spine. I'm gonna try and move my head and my tail, tongue to tail, enteric body, gut body, getting some mobility, ha! <laughs> tongue to tail, freedom in the interior. So my organs are getting juiced up. Energy is moving through them. They are not contracting and constricting and cresting and drying out. This is a very dark song. All I want is to owe. I'm, like, I'm messing it up. He sings much better than I do. But I like to sing along. Get big. See if you can find some lightness in your movement. So light and floaty. Is that so much to ask? Try finding some stillness. Not yet, but at, at certain points. Yeah, do a little stillness. Shake it out. The, the legs and the arms of my hat are going together really nicely. If I locked you in a little room, and if I always knew exactly where, but with exactly who. I am in a little room, but I'm not locked in. I can leave. I have another door over there. Oh yeah, there's some like limony motion here. Some kind of sweeping, arcing movement. That's so much to ask. Oh my hat, it's bouncing around in my head. Yeah, this is a hat. It's not actually coming out of my brains. Metaphorically, it is coming out of my brains. But in reality, I'm wearing a costume because I like to get dressed up. And if I don't start doing it now, when am I ever gonna wear these clothes, right? So if you have some fun things in your closet that you haven't worn for a long time, put them on, have some fun. Impress somebody with a selfie or your family or your neighbors, surprise people. Do something unusual, out of character or entirely in character. Whatever works for you. Get yourself one of these people. Can't go wrong. I look like some kind of like gothic Viking Medusa from the 80s with my fanny pack. Find 
increasing lightness and fluidity, fluidity, fluency in the tissue. It will make you a more integrated person. Please come back. That's what I'm saying to all the people who left my Facebook room. But not, I'm really happy that whoever's here is here and it's enough. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Ned. Charles Liddy. Yeah, oh. This is our modern man. It's another dystopian one. Wave. Um, but, ooh, look at my hat. It's all out of whack. Our modern man. Or Medusa. Circles. Circles with your arms. I'm doing circles in my hands. It ripples through my radius and ulna, through my elbow, through my humerus, into my rotator cuff into my spine, fluid through my whole body, waves of movement. How do you present yourself? Which comfort, which, which version of you is the most unthreatening or threatening? When does that work? people like and this quarantine is very painful how does it feel to watch somebody talk and bounce it's kind of like the old unsteady cam on a NYPD right let your head free up feel the back space feel the back of your body feel the back of your spine feel the back of your cranium it's very easy with me because I've got this hat on I've got my safety strap so it won't fall off. Go into your closet, find some clothes, play dress up, put something together that doesn't match at all. Check that out. What happens when we break the fashion rules? What happens when we break the movement rules? What happens when we break our rules for holding ourselves in? Starting to find space, questioning, wondering, Finding some wonder in our bodies. It's for me, my wonder is here. It's in the opening forward high space. <gasps> Looking around in indirect space. Lavan's indirect. 
direct space effort. That's where wonder is for me. Oh my God, wonder. Can, can you find some wonder? Open up. Oh, here we have a more punk rock song. This one, we have a video for this. It's called Boring Music for Boring People. And I don't know if I'm even in it, but I definitely shot a lot of it. So this is Tonus. Oh yeah, I am in it now, I remember. Twisting. These are my weird star jacks today. stage and then you have a whole environment this song is called what is it called is it called just sarah silverman sarah silverman got to turn up a little Cosmic 
fake cell phone, reaching into the world, reaching out to other people, connecting. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, I'll tell them all about that. <laughs> Here it goes, crazy. Come dance with me. Yeah, right now. On Facebook Live. Get up out of your seat. Move your butt. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you later. Gotta put away the toys. I'll tell you all about that call in a minute because I want to include you in what's going on. I'm, I'm into inclusion. Everyone's invited into my weird tiny room in my house. Bouncing. Sarah Silverman, you're invited into our weird room in the house. I suggest you look at it. Cassie's in it. I'm in it. Tonus is in it. Okay, I gotta stop and talk for one minute to give myself a break. Whoa! Oops. Oh my goodness, I pressed the button and you never know what's gonna happen. Hey Tom Kylie, hey Thea, Beatrice, hey Jonathan Erla. Oh my god, it's been too long, B. I miss moving with you. Look at oh, sweating under here. The hat's gonna come off. Part of this persona is gonna just fall away as I dance. That's what happens, right? We get dancing, start to break away some of the extra shit that we don't need. Um, cosmic fairy, cosmic pancake, and cosmic cell phone. Yeah, tuning into the cosmic. Oh, there's the trash people out there. Thank you for picking up our trash. My God, you don't have a choice, right? So I wanted to talk about something, which is humor. And humor as being a way to disarm discomfort and sadness and all the things, like how different is crying and laughing? They're really close to the same thing. And what they do for your nervous system is also really close. When you have that um, pumping in your heart, like, <sighs> and you're crying, <sighs> or when you're laughing, <laughs> it does something really wonderful for our hearts. And our hearts are radiating out all over the space. Like we are telling each other stuff through our hearts all the time. So it's time for us to open that pathway up and be more loving. But Humor, great way to, love to open it up. So I'm gonna share with you a god of humor. This guy is called Yokus. This is one of the ants. I'm trying to do it so you can see without the reflection. Anyway, that is, oh, there we go. Yokus, god of, there we go, god of humor. Uh, jokes, believe this is a Roman god that most of us haven't heard of. We like to talk about jester consciousness. So today in my Medusa fairy, glam weirdo spirit. I just want to invite you into some play. We learn the fastest through play. It's so much easier to learn when you're enjoying and playing. That's how animals learn. That's how kids learn until we shut them up and make them stop moving. That is just ungood, ungood, unhealthy. So for all my friends with kids, I have to shout out to a few of my friends with kids because I know that their kids like this. It's fun. Dance with your parents, right? Get your parents to move their butts. Parents, get your kids to move their butts. Put them on, put, get a costume. Get something that's fun to, like, look at this. Oh, see, yeah. I'm gonna take it off pretty soon, but I like it, it's fun. Um, yeah, it gives us more freedom when we're in play, and it's not threatening, right? You can learn a lot that way. Animals, dogs, babies. We learn by playing, it's so much more fun. Oh, my shout outs. So, my friend Michali Hinkis, one of my best friends from Movement Analysis from the Laban Institute, got dancing with her daughter, Uma. Rock and roll, thanks for getting your mom dancing. You rock. Yoan and Natalia, I know that you are out there every once in a while moving with me. And it's so exciting to see you there in the interwebs. And of course, Weslyn, who is like one of my favorite people that gets me moving in the day. And whenever I get to see her in the Zoom room, I feel good. So let's go on. We're gonna go to Bedroom Eyes, if I can find it since I messed up my playlist here. But Bedroom Eyes, I don't know if I have those today. I think that, let's take me a minute to get that. There we go. See that, we're in the moment of, we're in this moment of improvisation. How do we make, make it work? How do we make do? Hey J Joy TV, get your kids in with you. Maybe you guys all wanna dance. I see pictures of them and I love to see those pictures. Sacrilegious, but 
it's kind of messing with me. Ah, I feel the freedom in my center. I can bounce it around. What kind of clothing might be limiting you right now? situation and incarnation. I'm Big Bird. Tonus is the Snuffleupagus. And my mom, uh, I don't know, she could be <laughs> guitar faces. <laughs> Hello, Darcy. I love you. Um, yeah, my mom, maybe she's Maria, right? Maybe she's one of the adults in, in, in um, let me just fix this. See how I do that? This is pretty much how costuming goes. It's like, oh, just keep wrapping it around till it sticks. You know I'm gonna have to take that off in like two minutes, but I think it's kind of a fun thing to do. Let's go into the closet, find anything that you have. It can be normal stuff. You can put normal stuff together with other normal stuff that doesn't match. You can take one eyeshadow and make a crazy pattern on your face or a lipstick or anything else. Don't use the Sharpie, folks. It'll have bad consequences. All right, let's go on. I think I'm gonna stretch at the end. Oh, the next song is really probably my favorite song on this album. It's called Patient Like a Spider, appropriate for this incarnation. Probably some of the stuff is gonna come off. That's okay. Oh, the, the, blue, the feathers are all over the floor. Shake it in any way. Here comes the piano. Man, I am playing piano all over my room in many different dimensions because it feels so good. I'm playing that piano with my fingers and I'm loving it. It's so much fun. Here it comes. Shun like a spider. Side side. Let the head go off vertical. 
get slow if you need to get slow. Get fast and punchy if you need to get fast and punchy. Lots of different possibilities in movement. Staccato. Flowy and fluid. Bouncy. Free up the spine. Oh, this actually feels good. Go the other way. Punch it out. Even in this feeling, I'm gonna offer my monkey gifts to you. My monkey plate of fruit. Do you want it? Please, accept it. Take it in. Some self-touch. Give yourself the monkey love. Maybe you wanna move. And take that monkey fruit and nourish your body with it. That we live in. Concrete cube. I just posted about architecture. That's what he's talking about. The boxiness of it. Stop, born, you don't wanna. Overcome these limits. So human. Oh, screw that, right? Break the rules. Take off some of your costume. Free yourself up.
Use your space. Get big. Get small. Move forward. Offer your gifts. Receive some back. Thank you. Oh, give them back to everybody. Give them back. Share. Take it back. Take it back. You need some. Share it with the rest of the world. incarnation at Star Model B. Uh, yes, thumbs up. Um, huffing and puffing here. I'm planning on dancing a little bit more and then I'm going to stretch. We're going to do stretch, like dancers stretch, like how to get a different way in your body, especially after you've worked it a whole bunch. But we have two, three more songs that are on al this album and I really want to go to the whole end of this album, sweating, dancing, playing, offering my monkey gifts to you here. See, when I, when I come to you with my palms open and up, it's very different than my palms like that where I'm pushing you away. Who does that all the time? Whose move is that? Does that say yes, come into my world? No. Who says this? You're welcome, come in. Please be a part of this with me. And I receive your gifts. I receive the gifts of you coming and showing up with me important things. So let's uh, keep going. This song is called Feel You and all you people that are with me, I feel you. I really do. And for the people who think that I look, the people who've known me for a long time are like, wow, you look so good. You know why? Because my face is being altered by Facebook and Instagram. I have wrinkles here, but the way it looks in here, you can barely see them. So just so you know, even this, I got makeup on, obviously, but it's far from reality. But I am fluid in my body, and I want to move in ways that we can all move, right? I don't need to do my headstands or my splits, except for I probably do when we're stretching. But in this moment, it's open to everyone, just a body. My mom has come in and joined in. Swimming mom, in case you're out there watching, this is the time. I didn't see her on there, so you never know. Swimming. I think she might have gone for a walk with her boyfriend. Oh, hello. It's the robot, half woman, half robot. Cyber woman. Tonus Maximus. Not only does he play music and compose, he's a painter. Find the lightness in your body. That's what happens when you have empathy. 
me. But if you learn to move through it, it doesn't lock you up. Oh, I'm flying. I'm finding the wonder in the front of my heart and lungs, and I'm sharing it with you, my friends. I'm gonna walk around. On my tippy toes. I'm gonna take off my boots. You can see my imperfect socks that don't match. It's important to be imperfect. That's one thing me and Nathan were talking about. Vulnerability. Nathan Schechter. Check him out. He's also an embodiment person. We need to be imperfect and okay with it. chance to join me in an embodiment um, circle. They are brought to you by the Embodiment Conference. Mark Walsh, Daniela Wetzel, Sandra, doing all the work. Aloha, Kate, thanks for showing up um, from Hawaii. So yeah, Embodiment Circle. It's on Friday at noon, Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, however you want to call that, which is 4 p.m. UTC. Um, and you can get the link at Embodiment Circles Online. And I would love to have you come and play. There are three elements. Connection. You, you can also come without putting your video on. You could come and not put your, you could be muted. You can be silent and be hidden. You can come in any way that feels comfortable for you. Connection, a little bit of meditation, and some embodiment practice, and some play. Ours is about playful connection. I will not be showing up in my glitter size garb, but maybe I'll just have my hat. I might just have this hat maybe the Medusa, you're welcome to show up in any way that makes you feel comfortable, right? How do you know those little kids who like, when they have their Spider-Man costume on, they can rule the world, but sometimes as themselves, it's hard to, it's hard to face other people. Well, I can face other people in both directions, but sometimes it's also takes some of the intensity and challenge out of a relationship if you find it through play. Oh, a lot of makeup has sweat off. Um, so let's see. She's possessed is next. And then all you need is love. So it's going to be pretty intense and dancey and kind of more on the punk rock side. Uh, we have a video for this one. She's possessed, which I posted up on Facebook recently. Um, and I just want to shout out to the whole Spanish contingent because I know at some point they're going to watch this and they have really boosted my spirits. So thank you for that. Yeah. And Mich Michal, all the people who... Say something. They say thank you. And yeah, there's a lot of people that thank me and it really makes me happy. But you don't have to. You can. This is hard and fast. It's funny to dance like this. Try it. Anytime you want. 
my glitter size group, please join. I've got glitter size, glitter size, move, dance, play. It's a group on Facebook that is open to anyone. You are all welcome. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care what gender, who you like, who you don't like. I just care that you come with a little bit of this, right? Or you want to bathe in some of this, a little bit of love, right? We need it. Woo! Love, madness, play. Those were the themes of the day. So now we are going to get a little bit more friendly to the people who are more sort of exercise oriented. If you are not warm, then you might not want to stretch right now. However, if you are warm, you're probably primed for some serious stretching. So I'm gonna get my little mat, throw it on the floor. I'm also gonna throw you guys down on the floor so that you can see what's going on from down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here I come. Oh, I am put some music on. And this music is actually um, my friend, Jeff Gersh. It's called Ambient Fields. It's super outer space music. He made it while he was in Iceland. It's all guitar and loops and resonance, and it's amazing, but it's super like interior music. So, oh, we can't even hear it because I have the, I have it turned down so low on my, um, cause I was sharing it on the Zoom room. And if you blast people out on full blast on your iTunes in the Zoom room, they get really unhappy. Oh yeah, just land, but on the floor. How does that feel? Breathe, find some breath. So in movement analysis, we talk a lot about growing and shrinking with the breath. And when, when I talk about movement analysis, it's not like a judgmental analysis. It's more of what kind of space are you moving within? Like, are you moving in the icosahedron, one of these? Are you moving in the cube? Are you moving in the tetrahedron? So we're gonna make our tetrahedron right now, sitting on our butts in a cross-legged position. I'm gonna back up so that I have space and I'm in the light. Oh, listen to that music and find the breath. So we're gonna just actually grow and shrink a little bit with the breath. Growing and shrinking, we're finding a deep sense of shape flow support, interior support for our being, our animal body. So take out whatever image you have of body and see if you can come into just into sensation and experience from the internal space. So it's like your interoception, your maybe your proprioception, your kinesthetic awareness. So kinesthetic awareness is kind of awareness of your movement in the space around you. If we can take it a layer deeper into the internal space as we just grow and shrink. And with my growing and shrinking, I'm adding a little teeny lengthening and then curling. So I'm softening my spine. I'm radiating out and up. You could do this from a chair. So if you feel like sitting cross-legged is not gonna work for you, feel free to get your butt down, get your butt up. Get onto something that you have access to a little arching curl with that. Growing, it doesn't have to be the biggest growing. We already did a ton of huge movement. Maybe we need to come more internal. I was working doing a somatic class, a very continuum based somatic class with a friend of mine. And he was saying that he needed, he thought he could go just down to the one and that would be enough. But then he felt he actually needed to go into the zero, into the formless, into the deep interior space of formlessness. If we access that as, as a species of humans, we would have so much more compassion for each other and for ourselves. So yeah, we're softening. From there, let's take it down as far as you can go. And I'm just gonna let my spine move from side to side. So I'm feeling this from my pelvis, from my hips, from my legs, through my spine, up to my head. And I'm just inviting this free flowing, kind of a figure eight to happen. Letting my body release and soften, letting my head and neck get easy and loose. And I'm thinking of that cerebral spinal fluid, it's the closest thing to fresh water that we have in our body. Um, that cerebral spinal fluid is, is bathing your brain, it's bathing your nervous system, it's bolstering your body so that if I do this, my brain isn't knocking back and forth against my cranium. That water in there supports it. It's really supporting our life. And it filters through our body three or four times a day. So as we're moving, we're just allowing that fluidity, fluidity and fluency inside from our head to our tail, inside the spinal cord, 
inside the, the, the space of the spine. And as it's moving inside, we're inviting the radiation outward, the radiating movement from our center into the things that are around our center. So into our organs, into our fascia, into our muscles, into our tissue, into the tendons and ligaments. Thinking of the discs in your spine as being like cushy marshmallows that are supporting you. They're supporting your life. They're supporting your spine. They, if you have a slipped disc, and a lot of people have them and don't know it, sometimes just some movement can help create more space for that. If you're having pain in your back, sometimes really small interior adjusting and interior movement can give you more space. Sorry, I said we were going to stretch and now we're doing a whole bunch of more free flowing stuff. So let's start to stretch a little bit more. Side stretch to one side and then coming up and taking it to the other side. So if we're sitting a lot and we're in that sort of sagittal place, it might be nice to give the side body some movement, opening up. And I am not, there's not a lot of tension in my arms, right? They're just flowing, floating and flowing. Sometimes I touch my clients when I'm working with them one-on-one -on -one and I'm like, oh my God, that's like a rock. What's going on in there? You don't need to feel your body like a rock. <laughs> Muscles that are constantly engaged can't get stronger. They need to have some strength, some freedom, and, and your neutral pattern shouldn't be like this. It should be like this, right? So we want that fluidity and fluency. We're gonna circle the whole way around, sideways and forward and sideways and open it up. Sideways and take it forward and sideways. Opening through the space, soft, easy arms, fluid body. Head, tail, mobility. And then we're going to change. Non-dominant leg comes in front, whichever one wasn't there. If you're still sitting, if you're sitting in a chair, that's fine. You can just leave them where they are. And we're just going to do that side-side thing from on this side. So I'm letting my sacrum have some movement. Um, nothing in our body needs to be locked. So anchoring and locking are maybe not the best images for thinking about the body. We can, we can find support even from fluidity, fluidity. It doesn't have to be like this rigid idea of body. Think of a fluid, free-flowing body. So your body is like a body of water, which it really is. Um, legs out in front of you. Stretch out, flex your feet. You can bend your knees here. Just walk a little bit from side to side. Leave them bent if you need to. And I'm just letting my butt walk side to side. <sighs> Thanks, JT. And then I'm gonna hang out and breathe into it. If this is too much, if your body's saying, whoa, that's really intense, back off, give it a break. Get somewhere with your knees bent, round, do whatever you need to do. I'm hypermobile, so don't think you're gonna look like me unless you also are hypermobile or you're like a yogi or a dancer or whatever. This isn't necessarily the goal to be all flat out there. <laughs> you know, you probably don't need that in your life. It's funny why we think we need to be able to do certain things. Like we want to have some uh, capacity, but we don't need to be like super hypermobile. Like hypermobility has things too that are difficult. So I'm going to, I'm coming here. I'm going to sort of straddle and slide my heel toward my sit bone. And I'm going to take my elbow into my knee and just push it back a little bit. So I'm getting a big inner thigh stretch here. And the more I move forward, the more of an inner thigh stretch I get. And then I'm going to release it and come back. So this incarnation of Jeff Gersh's music is called Ambient Fields. I think this album is no longer on, um, on Bandcamp, but I think there's another one that came out. So I'm on the other side now. I'm using my elbow to push my knee back, right? I'm getting a big stretch, groin stretch, also known as adductors, adductors, stretching out. Do we need our adductors to be really open? I don't know. What do you need to do in your life? Do you ride a horse? Do you ride a motorcycle? Not that you need to be that open, but I don't know. As a dancer, I do because I need to be able to do my things. Do you skate? What do you do? What does your body need to be able to do? Let's come back and let's just go neutral. Bang them out. Rotate in and out. Loose and easy. Oh, good. Oh, Clem. Take it easy. Really take it. Listen to your own body. Don't go crazy with this. 
be like, listen, it will tell you the truth. Your body's not gonna lie to you. So listen in, start to um, create that relationship. Um, I am going to cross my ankle over my knee and I'm gonna take this forward here. So again, you may be seated on a chair, you can do this seated on a chair with just crossing over and taking it slightly forward. Um, and I am hypermobile again, so don't think that this isn't the goal. You want to feel what feels good and feels right in your body. So in a sense of stretching, um, if you're doing it by yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, I wouldn't go past a 5 or a 6 in sensation. And if somebody else is doing it to you, definitely don't go past that. I've been injured by people stretching me before and they're like, you're so open. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, wow, that's really intense. It took six months for my quads to heal from that. Thank you. That was a vinyasa yoga person. <laughs> it was a long time ago. So, you know, you just gotta be careful when you're doing anything. Other side, listen to your body. I said it, I was like, whoa, this is intense. And he's like, oh yeah, that's great. I'm like, no, my squads were seriously ripped up for six months. And I didn't even know why. I was like, God, they hurt. It really hurts to do a plie. And then I was studying with Irene Dowd at the moment and she's like, oh, I think you overstretched them. So, I mean, I didn't rip them apart, but they became far too open and they had to heal back up. It took a long time. All right, shake that out, bang it out. And then we're gonna cross one over the other. If you feel like folding underneath there, you can. If this butt pops up off the floor, don't fold, just leave it out there. And let's give ourselves a hug. So you're gonna draw your knee in and just, like I can play with that, right? Just releasing and then giving myself a little bit more. And I'm feeling, where is my breath in this? How does the breath feel? What are my sit bones doing? And then release that. Shake it out, let it go. We're gonna go the other side. You can fold under if you want to or not. Whatever feels good. Let yourself soften and then move into it. You can exhale and move in with the inhale or you can go the other way around. You can inhale back and then exhale. Sometimes the exhale will take you further, but again, you don't need to go to your furthest. You just want to move so that the tissue is getting a little bit more motion and fluidity. Undoing, undoing, undoing your legs and bang them out. So I always like to come back to a neutral, whatever I've done, shake it out, let the tissue get soft again so it comes back into a pattern that it understands. You haven't lost what you just did, you just want to come back to neutral. It's the same with working out. Like if you worked a muscle really intensely, shake it out before you try to, try to stretch it. You don't want to go from the extremes of what your muscle is capable of. You want to always come back to a neutral that's in the middle of that and that, that really open space. So we're gonna, I'm gonna stand up actually. And you are invited to stand up too. And I am going to do a quad stretch up here. I'm using my wall to help me balance. And I am going to grab on and just take that knee back. So I'm drawing my heel into my butt. You may not have that much movement. You may be here. You may not even be able to grab it. And if you can't, you can use like, one of my yoga teachers used to say, grab your sock. So you could use your sock. You could use a towel to wrap around your ankle, whatever you need. So probably if you've been seating a, lot, seating, sitting a lot, this front of your hip flexor could use some release. That's a good one. Shake it out, let it go. Shake, 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 Tina Turner. Other side, heel in towards your butt. Yeah, I didn't really intend to go into this long stretch, but now here we are. I mean, into this slower motion thing. But it feels good to be here. So I'm stretching that quad. If So if you're really hypermobile and you don't feel a stretch at all there, then you want to think of slightly engaging your pelvic floor, taking the knee back just a little bit more. Shake it out, shake it out, let it go. So we're gonna just do some really easy movements, circling your pelvis. Circles, height, you're lubricating up your hip socket. So where your femur head comes into your pelvis, whoa, and the music is getting intense. Outer space, we're taking off. Yep, and then the other way. Let that release. And then we're gonna take the hands, interlace behind your back, if that's possible. Again, if it's not possible, grab a towel. Hold your towel, just open the chest. So I talked earlier in my workout about this being a place of wonder for me, this place forward high, opening up the chest and lungs, moving forward into that. 
with my head open. Oh, it feels good. Opening it up. So hands either coming together or not. They might be further apart. And then just letting my chest pull forward and through. Ah. And I'm going to relax my jaw. And get into a stupid face. Relax your tongue. <sighs> and then release. Ooh, and I just felt some stuff release in my lower back. Not my lower back. In my lower skull. In the bottom of my cranium. So circles with your shoulders. Just circle. Release. Slow it down. Let your body come into being a body that moves. But Emily Conrad, the founder of Continuum, says, we are movement. We don't move our bodies. Our bodies are movement. And we are our bodies. It's not separate. That's a Descartes thing. That's a Judeo-Christian thing. That's pretty much any kind of patriarchal religious thing where we separate these things because the body is dangerous. But what if it's not? What if it's just actually perfect? and loving and wonderful, and it needs us to be there to support it. Yeah, what about that? All right, so that's my big deep thought with just a little bit of stretching. And Kira Hoxley, nice to see you. Um, yeah, you can go back to the beginning of the video. You feel free to post this stuff, share it with the people, because everyone needs to feel some softness and some love and some joy and some play in their bodies, especially right now. And when we support each other in our animal bodies, when we support each other in this way, we can find support for bigger, bigger realms of other people, the people who are other. Can we support some of them too? We certainly need to do that in this world. We certainly need to find some more equanimity and some more equality for all the people who are othered. And we are in an incredibly divisive place right now. And if you look at our government, like are any of them embodied at all? Do they breathe? Can they feel anything? Or are they just being like battened down by the past, like the ancestral trauma that we've all taken on in various ways, from the ways that we've behaved as a country, the ways that people have seen and allowed other people to behave, right? All of that sits in our bodies. All of our bodies are collective bodies. Now it's time to start healing some of that stuff. So, mwah, love, kindness, compassion. I know, loving kindness for everyone. Even the other, even the others that we don't want to feel good. What if they did start to feel okay, to feel like nourished and centered and good? What if we all started to feel a little bit better? If enough of us start to do it, the shift will happen. So embodiment conference, embodiment circles. I'm leading one Friday, please join me. You can come to my glitter size room. You can come to my Zoom room. All of the things are happening. They're free. If people can't afford anything, just come. All right, ciao, ciao. Share the love, share the love.